Thank you, Vilius Kasmokius, for the tag here. Your wish is about to be granted, my friend. YouTube, buddy, I think you know what time it is. We gotta have another sit-down talk. What is going on here? So for context, ladies and gentlemen, we're here on the channel known as Am I the Jerk? And we have ourselves a video titled, This Channel is Being Deleted. Here's why. Now, I'm going to do the very best I can to sum everything up and put a neat little bow on the top of it. This channel right here is the victim of false copyright strikes. Now, you're probably thinking, well, that's nothing new. Well, here's the funny thing. It's copyright strikes based on a content he never used. So I'm going to link you guys to the video that you see on the screen as well as other things because this is something that is just straight up not okay. You know, we know that this has been a thing for years now. Copyright abuse, copyright trolls, all that stuff. That has been a thing for years and even in 2023, how YouTube still hasn't managed to patch up one of the biggest weaknesses on the site, despite it being brought to their attention by countless people, is just beyond me. Now, if I can be afforded to, I'm going to let some of his video play out coming up to give you guys a better idea as to what is going on. You need to hear it from the man himself because this is all just straight up beyond ridiculous. We are being striked for using music when we have never once used music in any of our videos. Let me repeat that. We have accumulated enough strikes to not only prevent us from uploading on Am I the Genius, but to have both channels terminated because of fake strikes. Strikes that are based on us using music when we have never used music. It sounds ridiculous even saying it out loud. YouTube's copyright strike system is being weaponized and abused. I have done everything I possibly can to fix this the way that I've been told, but nothing has helped so far. And I didn't want to make this into a video or bring this up because it's kind of like handing a weapon to random trolls in the world, but it's gone to the point where I feel like I have no other options. Apparently, when you go to strike someone on YouTube, there's an option to claim that you are striking them for an original song, and this requires no burden of proof whatsoever. It makes the channel that you're striking guilty until proven innocent. That's a position that we're in right now. And if you have more than three strikes, they will delete not only your channel that's being striked, but every channel that you are associated with for, in this case, a fraudulent strike, a fake strike. I want to interject real quick. That right there is a very, very scary thing to hear out and realize when you are the victim of false strikes. The burden of proof isn't on the person issuing the strikes, but it's on you. You are essentially guilty until proven innocent, whereas the abuser, on the other hand, doesn't have to have any iota of proof whatsoever to back up their case. And if you happen to own multiple channels and one of them happens to unfortunately get terminated because of false copyright strikes, all of your channels that are tied to you automatically get wiped out as well. Once trolls have figured the system out, they've been abusing this to the max. So far, we have received six strikes from trolls who in their claim say that we've used their so-called original song when, as you guys know, we have never used music in any video ever in the history of the channels. And do these trolls have to provide any proof whatsoever that this is the case? No. We are on the hook for this until they run out the clock. This also highlights another very big flaw when it comes to the copyright system. That is the fact that you can claim content that you don't even own, that you have literally no rights to. And we have known this for years now, but the copyright strike system is one of the most imbalanced and abusable systems on the site. It's 100% imbalanced because it basically puts the ball in the court of those that are issuing the claims and the strikes. And unless you end up pulling out a Hail Mary, well, there's unfortunately a slim chance of you being able to succeed. Now, I'm not saying it's impossible, but the thing is, is that unless YouTube learns to unfuck their copyright system and actually get it working correctly, balanced, and fairly... This is a system that is very detrimental to a lot of channels. Well, actually, every single channel. I know a lot of you guys have been asking, why hasn't Am I the Genius uploaded in almost a month? Well, this is why. And this is also why we have to talk about it on this channel. If any human being were to look at this situation, they could see in about two seconds that there is no music on our channel and that all of these strikes are completely fake. Someone is misusing and abusing the copyright system on YouTube. We have no music on our channel. So why do the strikes have to do with music? Because that's one of the options where you don't have to provide any 
proof. And since we can't get anyone to look at this situation, we are guilty until proven innocent. But in this case, we never get to prove our innocence. So what do I mean by that? As I just said, Am I the Genius hasn't been able to upload for almost a month. Since we don't currently do in-video sponsorships or anything like that, in order to make the listening experience better for you guys, that means that our only way to survive is by putting out videos, and we have been stripped of that. You see, when you get strikes like this, one of the things they take away is your ability to upload at all. And if we can't do that, we have a hard time of surviving because that's what we need to survive, being able to upload videos. And even if this were magically resolved, tomorrow, most of you guys probably know that something like this can totally kill a channel both algorithmically, and not to mention, since all of you guys know there are several of us that work on the channel, there's a lot of people counting on this. And there's two more very big things that's brought up here that, honestly, there's a lot of people, everybody needs to take this into consideration, okay? I don't give a shit if you happen to dislike or despise a YouTuber, okay? I dislike a few people myself, but I am not gonna go out of my way to royally fuck over their ability to financially provide for themselves, provide for their staff, if you have staff that are hired on, and their families as well. Why should they get to suffer because of someone's disdain for a YouTuber? And the other thing that he brings up that is also really, really noteworthy and alarming as well is how the channel can pretty much tank algorithmically if you're not able to upload because of being suppressed due to having too many strikes to suddenly not be able to upload anymore at that time. So here's how everything happened. Originally, we were hit with three completely bogus strikes about a month ago. Your first step in a situation like this is to reach out to the person striking you. We did that, and they have never responded to this day. The next step is to file what's called a counter notification. This is technically a legal action, and what it does is give them another 10 business days to respond so that they can prove that they are engaging in a lawsuit with you. Since these strikes are completely fake, they obviously aren't going to do that. They're just going to run out the clock. And keep in mind, this entire time, we still can't upload. So let's say you wait the entire setup time plus the 10 business days. They run out the clock. They don't respond, which is what happened here. Nobody's going to magically pay you back for missing this entire time of uploading. But at least everything is normal after those 10 business days, right? Well, no, because what happened when these 10 business days ended, on the very first day we got access back to our channel, they just sent another three bogus strikes again, locking us out of uploading perpetually, since no one is checking whether these strikes are bogus or not. This year just keeps proving the point that the entire community has been stating for years, YouTube, the copyright system is one of the biggest flaws and weaknesses. This is something that you need to address and you need to fix. Pronto. This should have been done years ago, but better late than never, I guess. Hop to it. Now, the rest of the video goes over his situation in greater detail, so I'm going to urge you guys to check out the original video, share it, like it, comment for the algorithm, support it, all that stuff, because things like these need to be brought to the forefront, front and center, and they need to be addressed. The copyright system gives us literally no power whatsoever. We are victims. We are helpless when it comes to having to battle back against fake copyright strikes. So I'm also going to urge you guys to share this video as well. Like it, comment for the algorithms, share it, spread the message. Hell, make a video on this if you happen to be a YouTuber that comes across this video as well. The more, the merrier, I always say. But with that said, ladies and gentlemen, I think I said all that I needed to say here in this video. Thank you guys very much for watching. Thank you for your time as well in viewing this video. Have yourself a damn good one, you beautiful people. Be kind to yourself, be kind to others, and I'll see you next time.